Hello, my name is Jay Moretz with the Technical Support Department here at FreeWave Technologies. Um, if you manage a FreeWave HT Plus network, this video will help you manage the process of extending and integrating your HT Plus radios along with the uh, ZoomLink Z9PE gateway and endpoints. As you may know, because of various supply chain issues, the HT Plus family um, has been made end of life. It is important to know that there are no other FreeWave products that are currently in end of life status. Expansion of future proofing of HT Plus networks is best achieved with the ZoomLink Z9 PE radio. We call this network setup coexistence, or the ability of two or more networks to operate side by side. Uh, coexistence is required because the HT Plus and the Z9 PE do not communicate with each other over the air. It's also important to note that you do not have to pull and replace all of the existing equipment uh, for your HT Plus network, um, nor do you have to insert any kind of secondary uh, product or device um, to accomplish coexistence, unless you wish to use a single antenna for both networks, uh, in which case you would need a uh, splitter combiner, as we'll see later in the video. Once you have the ZoomLink Gateway radio integrated, then you can easily add ZoomLink endpoints at your own pace, and they would communicate back to that uh, gateway that is installed, either as replacements for HT Pluses in the future, or as completely new sites. Like any other RF solution, it is a matter of configuring the new and existing networks to achieve the desired results. The FreeWave engineers have thoroughly vetted the coexistence process, and uh, ran many tests uh, based on uh, data throughputs, Modbus polling rates, um, ping latencies, and things like that. So the coexistence framework does go uh, above and beyond the rigorous standards that you would want in your FreeWave network. And I'm about to demonstrate coexistence for the HT Plus and Z9 PE radios together, but do keep in mind that this could be used for other uh, radio models as well. Uh, such as the uh, FGR2-PE or even the FGR2-C serial radios. Um, keep in mind that it's not one size fits all when it comes to radio networks. As with any kind of new uh, deployment of radios, you should do the proper vetting of the sites, uh, get the appropriate uh, path studies done, um, understand uh, line loss and, and uh, signal uh, line of sight. Should you have any questions about your particular network, uh, please feel free to contact FreeWave Technologies uh, Technical Support. I'll be happy to talk to you about that. All right, let's get started. Coexistence can be achieved by using the same antenna as the existing gateway when uh, it's not desired to install a second gateway antenna. You do this by inserting our specified RF combiner between the antenna and the two gateways with jumper cables. You would take the existing antenna connection from your existing HT Plus network and connect that to the adapter. And this cable would go off towards your antenna. Then you would take the specified jumper cables connect those to the other two ends of the combiner. Do that real quickly here. And these two ends would then connect on the antenna ports of the two different radios, allowing both of those radios to utilize the same antenna for their communication. Now do note that inserting this combiner will result in about 3 dB of loss on your transmitted and received signals. So for networks operating near their range or at performance extremes, um, you might need to mitigate this by using a higher gain antenna or by choosing two separate antennas instead of this combiner method. Next, you would have to physically connect the two Ethernet networks together. Now the method that this is done with will vary depending on your host equipment. In this example, I'm going to simply connect an Ethernet cable between a port on the HT and the Ethernet port on the ZoomLink, which would allow data to travel between the two radio networks and uh, get all of the data through both places without having to do any additional equipment. 
the HT Plus unit will switch the data between the two networks and the data stream will then go out to the existing connection which would be to your host system or your overall network. Now you may be wondering how a ZoomLink network is able to operate within the existing HT Plus network. And ZoomLink has two unique algorithms as part of its ZoomBoost technology that make coexistence possible. So these algorithms are called adaptive spectrum learning and listen before talk. They increase throughput and resiliency in coexisting environments by learning which RF signals are part of the ZoomLink network and which are not. These algorithms are part of the ZoomLink RF protocol, which means they do not have to be enabled or configured. ZoomLink also provides additional ZoomBoost performance enhancing algorithms utilizing RF enhancers like packet compression, packet aggregation, and forward error correction, along with IP filtering, can help to maximize throughput and increase communication success in more challenging RF environments. An additional step that you could take to mitigate RF interference between the two networks is separation by using frequency masking or frequency zones. Because the ZoomLink 900 can be configured for either hopping or single frequency, the existing HT Plus and the new ZoomLink network can operate on separate frequencies. On the HT Plus network, you would disable a particular frequency zone and then configure the ZoomLink network to operate on a frequency within that disabled zone. This would allow the radios to participate using the same antenna connection but be on different frequencies and lessen anti any interference with each other. Using the same method, you could configure the ZoomLink and HT Plus to hop within the 900 megahertz range in their own separate parts of the band. For example, you could set the HT Plus to use the 915 megahertz and lower, and the ZoomLink to use higher than 915 megahertz. For any additional help with optimizing your coexistence setup, do not hesitate to contact FreeWave Technical Support. You can reach us by phone at 866-923-6168, or you can send us an email at moreinfo at freewave.com. Thank you.